My name is Hiroki Matsuchi, and you are listening to or watching Bridges, a weekly showcase of a single content creator in Japan and their content. This is episode number 15, and tonight we are jamming with Friday Jams,、uh, also known as Rick Benedict, who is a rabid fan of Japanese film and I guess I would say、uh, Japanese pop culture in general.、Uh, Friday Jams has a few projects going on, and you can tell that they all definitely stem from genuine interest. Uh, if you take his blog, for example,、uh, most of his posts are about the movies he's currently watching and do not include any fluff.、Uh, although he does deviate from time to time, the format is usually pretty simple and consists of an embedded trailer、uh, andor some clips from the film, a nice poster image of the film in question, as well as a short description of the film, along with just a few of his thoughts.、Uh, not long winded analysis, no review, not critique. I, I tend to think of his site as. Uh, kind of like a friend who watches a ton of movies. And that friend is also able to give you that kind of perfect one line see it or don't see it. You'll like it or you won't, bit of advice. He's got a few other projects going on as well that、uh, we'll get around to, I, I guess, right now. <laughs> so let's put、uh, 10 minutes on the timer and let's see how much we can see. So, of course, we'll start on the、uh, homepage. That's where we always start. He's got this、uh, nice little logo with.、Uh, I guess it's a motocross bike. I don't know. Is this a doll or is this a real image? Anyway, it's kind of got a funky design. I think this is a,、uh, this is a very familiar. I think this is the、uh, Aris theme. This looks like a WordPress based blog, although I could be wrong. So, of course,、um, you'll notice that、uh, a lot of his posts have、uh, dates attached to them, or years more specifically. And of course, all of these posts that have years attached to them、uh, are movies. I wouldn't call them necessarily reviews. But、uh, kind of information, teasers,、uh, a little bit more than you get just from the trailer. So, why don't we、uh, check out one of his more recent posts?、Uh, this one is called、uh, Tokyo 10 Plus One, which was、uh, released in 2003. So, you'll notice in addition to a little bit of a blurb that he's written himself, he also has、uh, some embedded、uh, media, in this case, a YouTube trailer. Let's see.、Uh, and the blurb he wrote is This movie has a ton of violent weirdness packed into 70 minutes. It's like a cross between Battle Royale, which is a pretty amazing movie, and Ocean's Eleven. Eleven criminals are recruited by the Baron to reach his mansion while being chased by a pack of laser rifle carrying freaks. Interesting. <laughs> and of course,、uh, in addition to the、uh, trailer that's、uh, embedded directly into the site, he's also got this very interesting、uh, poster image. And、anyway, I don't want to play too much of the trailer, I don't want to get in trouble with uh, any uh, rights holders. So,、uh, why don't we check out、uh, one of the related posts? Ah, Zato Ichi. 2003. This must be one of the、uh, newer movies.、Uh, Zato Ichi is a fictional story that has been remade many times.、Uh, that explains it.、Uh, this one stars Beat Takeshi and、uh, Tadanobu Asano. The CGI blood effects in this one are dope. <laughs> I've actually seen this one. This is a pretty good movie. Let's see if we can play a little bit of the.、Uh, The YouTube trailer. Oh, this video is no longer available because the YouTube account associated with this video has been terminated. Anyway, oh, oh look at that. Looks like one of the related posts is、uh, Battle Royale. This is an amazing movie. I gotta pull this one up.、Uh, the Battle Royale act is enabled to rein in the wild youth, those crazy kids all over my lawn. A group of students is picked to go、uh, to an island and fight each other for survival with only one student leaving alive. Yeah, this is an amazing movie. If you guys get a chance to see it, this one is really cool, really gruesome, and a little bit twisted, but、uh, definitely a movie that's worth seeing.、Uh, anyway, I'm not going to play too much of this trailer because that's not why you guys are here. So, why don't we jump to the、uh, Japan tab and see what's up with that? So, it looks like there's a couple more different. Uh, I, I guess you could say reviews of different movies.、Uh, 13 Assassins. Dead Ball. Interesting. Let's try、uh, Yakuza Weapon 2011. Oh, cool. A new one.、Uh, a Yakuza has his arm and leg blown off and is rebuilt with a machine gun on his arm and a rocket launcher on his leg. Then it is Revenge.、Uh, starring、uh, Tak Sakaguchi and Akaji Maro. Directed by Yudai Yamaguchi and Tak Sakaguchi. Yeah, so needless to say, I think、uh, maybe many of the films that uh, uh, Friday Jams likes to watch, or at least many of the films that end up on his site, are, I would say, maybe a little bit more campy than the、uh, more mainstream films. But again, if you guys are looking for some, some kind of quirky entertainment that you maybe wouldn't have discovered otherwise, this is definitely the site to go. 
and it really kind of it makes you want to watch some of these <laughs> movies. And uh, like almost all of the content creators we've featured so far, uh, after you watch the film, get in touch with uh, Friday Jams, and I'm sure he'd be happy to jam with you about the movie. Uh, he seems like a very friendly person, and we've uh, chatted just a few times. Uh, one of his other kind of interesting products uh, projects is uh, J Radio, uh, which I believe has its own site. Uh, it's Nippon, Nihon Radio. Yeah, this is a really interesting project um, that he started, I don't know exactly when, but... Uh, you know, when I when I first met him, he had uh, put the radio up, and it was kind of gaining popularity. So I don't know exactly how he gets away with it um, in terms of licensing, or maybe it's one of those things that just flies under the radar. But he has this a twenty four hour uh, streaming radio station that plays all sorts of interesting music. I think mainly out of Japan, maybe entirely out of Japan. But I remember listening to it maybe about five or six months ago, and it really kind of brought me back. It was very uh, nostalgic. Uh, a lot of the songs that he plays, or at that time were playing, were songs that I had first discovered when I first came to Japan, kind of during that uh, honeymoon period. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun to listen, and I still do listen from time to time. Yeah, so please check it out, it's nihonradio.net. Anyway, uh, why don't we jump back to his uh, main site, if we can. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And uh, why don't we just continue down the tab? So, of course, we have uh, movies, ringtones. That's very interesting. I wonder if these are uh, ringtones he's produced himself or if these are uh, ringtones that he's just kind of aggregating. Let's see. Free Android ringtones. Look at this. Android versions of all of the ringtones I've made. So here they are in MP3 format. Wow, that's pretty amazing. I guess he must also be a musician or audio technician. Look at that, Mario ringtones. I don't have an Android, but... Uh, look at that, Mario Brothers iPhone ringtones. Wow. Due to the popularity of the Yamanote ringtones and the retro video game ringtones, I made you some Mario iPhone ringtones. Enjoy. Just unzip and drop in your ringtone directory in iTunes. Download now. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, I have an iPhone, so I'll pick up a couple of these files and see what it's like. I'm also a pretty rabid uh, Mario fan. Anyway, uh, why don't we continue down the... Uh, the tabs. Let's see, next we have t-shirts. Are these also produced by Mr. Jams? <laughs> it looks like they might be. So we have, uh, looks like, uh, I guess it's the Taco the Octopus, huh? Interesting. And the Yamanote train mascot on a t-shirt. Very interesting. I see, I wonder if he actually, uh, he, he must be the person behind them. Wow, I might have to pick up one of those, uh, Takoyaki, another Takoyaki, one of the uh, octopus shirts. All right, anyway, uh, why don't we keep going down and see what the uh, screen prints is all about. About once a year, I do a new one. Yeah, this is kind of interesting. Um, I, I assume that these are uh, silk screen prints, although I can't be sure. And it, it, it's, it's amazing because it seems like it would be really out of place in this uh, website all about Japanese pop culture, but for some reason, it just kind of makes sense. <laughs> That's really interesting. Yeah, I mean, so needless to say, this, this website's kind of a hodgepodge of, uh, I think, all of uh, Friday Jam's different interests. There's nothing wrong with that, though. Wow, interesting. Wow, very cool. I guess he's a talented silk screener, if that's how he uh, actually goes about making them. Anyway, uh, why don't we keep going? Uh, check out his uh, Instagram. Oh, okay, so this is just uh, tied into his uh, Flickr account, it looks like and uh, contact. All right, well, why don't we jump back to the uh, main page? We've got a few more minutes. Maybe we can check out a few of these uh, movie entries. Uh, 13 Assassins. This is one that I had uh, seen a uh, preview for a while ago. I actually may have been on this site. I've <laughs> been very curious about it for a while. I went to uh, Tsutai, the local video store, and I actually couldn't find it. I finally got my hands on the uh, Takashi Mike remake of 13 Assassins. Uh, A.T. Kudo's original was released in 1963. While I figured it was going to be a typical Mike Bloodfest, uh, it actually was quite restrained. Much of the sword, sword action is not actually shown. It disappointed me a bit. I can, I can see how that might be a little bit disappointing. Yeah, so of course he's got uh, lots and lots and lots of clips embedded into uh, his site. 13's Assassin's original trailer. Wow, cool. Ah, Tampopo, 1985, the year I was born. Ah, this has got to be one of my favorite movies of all time. It's, uh, it's this really quirky, weird comedy all about food. Um, and it, it's, it's not just 
I guess it's not just the, the funny side of food, but it's also the kind of like dark and sexual and kind of bizarre side of food as well. Yeah, this is, this is definitely one of my favorites. And that, that's kind of one of the neat things about this site. I mean, um, I, I by no means am a film expert, but you know, as I do uh, go through some of uh, Friday Jam's uh, different kind of movie entries, who I, I'm pretty sure he knows a hell of a lot about film, particularly Japanese yeah. film, it's really fun to see some of these old movies and actually, a couple months ago, I remember stumbling upon uh, this entry in Friday Jams and yeah, subsequently going out to the video store and renting this amazing movie, kind of reliving uh, some of my college days. Yeah, yeah, this is a great film. All right, let's take a look at maybe just one more, one more. All right, related post, Monster X Strikes Back, Attack the G8 Summit. Uh, that seems particularly relevant considering what's uh, going on in France. Modern-day Godzilla movie. Uh, Beat Takeshi plays the voice of uh, Take Majin. Campy as hell and a pretty fun flick. Tons of lookalikes of world leaders, including Kim Jong-il. <laughs> looks like a pretty typical uh, giant monster movie. Anyway, we're going to stop here uh, for tonight. But you guys, please definitely check out Friday Jams. Uh, it's a really interesting website filled with lots of really cool uh, entries, movie recommendations, all sorts of neat media, and things like uh, silkscreen prints. Uh, I think they're silkscreen, at least. Anyway, uh, that's it. So again, thank you all for listening to or watching uh, episode 15 of Bridges. Please get in touch with us over at bridges at wanwan.fm with any comments, questions, or suggestions for future content creators to be featured on the show. And once again, my name is Hiroki Matsuchi, and this is Bridges. Thank you for watching. See you guys next week.